Today I'm going to show you my July makeup haul. So I hope you find this useful. If you want to uh, ask more about the products, please do comment down below and I'll answer to your comment as soon as possible. <clears throat> so let's start from the face. So my new foundation is this Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. So as you can tell, makeup artists have uh, two foundation or three foundation shades. First one is the lightest, uh, second one is the natural middle tone, and the third one is the dark tone. So my uh, lightest tone is ex actually just um, finished, uh, which was just the Makeup Forever HD foundation. And this is the Ultra HD. So um, I find that the difference of the HD and Ultra HD is that um, the Ultra HD has a little bit more coverage and it's not as light as the HD. Um, but yeah, so if you really want a uh, buildable foundation, do go for Ultra HD. But um, if you really want a sheer foundation, then um, has to be the HD. Next is my foundation powder by Napoleon Paradise. So thank you Chi Grace for giving me this one. So Napoleon Paradise uh, might not be well known um, worldwide because this is an Australia brand. Australia brand. Um, yeah. So that's the real color. And let me just swatch it for you. So it's a bit lighter than my skin tone, obviously. Um, I just use it, use it uh, to touch up on my uh, highlight under the eyes area or you know just for my um, lighter skin tone client. It doesn't have high coverage at all, it's actually just sheer and uh, I just use this to basically set and matte the skin. Then next I got another two foundation powder by MAC. This is their Studio Fix, so one in NC15 and one in NC45. Basically, I use this to uh, touch up the contour and highlight on my client's face. So that's how it looks like. So that's for the darker shade and this is for the um, highlight. This is really great. If you are after a high coverage foundation powder, um, I do recommend this one. Because um, I used to have my HD powder, like Pro Finish Makeup Forever powder, and it doesn't really have um, a, as good coverage as this one. So even if uh, on daily basis you don't want to use a powder, sorry, a liquid foundation, you can just go out with this, and it will obviously just cover all your blemishes and flaws. This one is another powder. This is uh, Dior. That's the. Dior Skin Poudre Libre Loose Powder in the number 001 Clear Transparent. So basically, this is a setting powder. It comes really light on the skin. It's almost white. Um, I'll just watch it for you. So it's like that. See, it's like really white. But then when you just dust it off, it doesn't really um, affect the color of the skin. It just mattifies it. Uh, and just absorbs all the oils so it's really good it, it's really similar with Laura Mercier mineral loose powder as well so um, thank you as well Chi Grace for giving me this um, and it's really useful another face uh, product is my she shadow glow enhancing primer so this is a primer makeup uh, by she shadow it has a little bit of shimmer or radiant glow to it. Uh, it's really similar with Laura Mercier again, uh, the radiant primer. So it's white like this and it blends really well. It's really light and as you can see maybe in the camera, they're like this one, they're like a bit of, um, you know, a glow to it. So. Um, it's really good if you are searching for a healthy, uh, dewy looking skin look. Just use this one. And thank you to Samantha for giving me this. And I really enjoy being your model of the day. What else? Okay, next uh, we're going to go for the 
brow. So my favorite brow product is basically Anastasia Beverly Hills if you haven't noticed. So this is the pomade. Um, so basically it's like a gel and this one is their brow powder duo. So um, this I'll just show it to you how it looks like. So this is a powder basically, powder brow. Um, people tell me that um, you know it, it's not that dif uh, different than uh, eyeshadow. You just basically use eyeshadow for your brow, but it's actually different, guys. So the texture of this Anastasia Beverly, ha um, Beverly Hills Brow Powder Duo is not powdery, but it's really pigmented and. Um, it's really, uh, it really goes uh, well to fill in the gaps of your uh, client's brow, uh, especially like those who already have a lot of uh, brow hair. But even uh, to those clients that doesn't really have a lot of brow hair, um, it actually is really pigmented to just fill in all the gaps and um, creating that really nice features. So I'm actually using this right now. Uh, I'm just using this darker color because my hair is basically dark up here so I'm um, just matching it to that and as you can see that's really good so the brow pomade what's the difference between that two so this one I always use this if I want to go for a more dramatic look or you know Instagram makeup look where all the brows are really really sharp looking uh, and uh, quite intense as well so use this on a client that has you know um, no eyebrows next up is my eyes product so eye product um i bought not i bought i got this from samantha for being model for shishado um this month so this is their shishado luminizing satin eye color trio um the colors are quite bright like first time i see oh will i actually be able to use this color because you know it's orange and it's like purplish brown and a pink um they're all shimmer but actually when it goes to the eye it's not that orange i'll just give you a quick look on the swatch so it's really pigmented um, as you can see, um, it can blend this away and becomes more of a peachy color, orange peach color. Um, the shimmer goes to the skin really well. And this is my new favorite because it's um, really easy to bring as well. What else? Um, Alright, so next one is my uh, Lancome Holiday Eyeshadow Face Palette. So thank you Chi Grace for giving me this. She gave me a lot of makeup. Um, the only thing that I noticed about Lancome product is basically it's made for Parisian. So um, basically a Caucasian people has really pale to light skin tone. So to Asian skin tone, it doesn't really go well. Like it's not pigmented especially on my skin tone i'll show you a swatch i guess um can't really see it so yeah uh i do not recommend asian people or you know uh, more to the deep skin tone to buy lancome products i'm just using this for my caucasian or really light um you know clientele Another uh, eyeshadow that I bought is this NARS. So this is NARS uh, Cordura, and it's basically just two colors. So one is a bit of a golden brown, and one is a dark brown, and both of them are shimmery. So, um, one more, one more, guys. So all of those are my shimmery palette, and I realized that I don't really have matte palette. So I just bought this, of course, Earthy Thorn again, because it goes to old skin tone. This is the Marc Jacobs, and the I Style Con number seven. So I got this in. Look how nice the packaging is. Uh, this is in Style Icon number seven, the Lolita two zero six. So this is their Earthy palette tone. I haven't used this at all. 
so that's how it looks like mm, there goes some shimmer and some of the matte one so uh, let me just swatch this I haven't used this at all so this is my first impression so this is basically the color of the swatches so that's the shimmery one and that's the matte one Basically, this color in the middle um, really blends my skin, uh, but it's all alright. I guess it's not that crazy pigmented, so I know it's more of a natural and easy to blend. Basically, my loss of the eyeshadow, and moving on to the... Oh, I have one more, which is to the blush. And this is Bobbi Brown. Thank you again. It's great. <laughs> um, this is Bobbi Brown. Uh, shimmer brick compact in the color lilac rose so it's a pretty rose color like a romantic bridal thingy um, but one thing for sure is that it's not that pigmented guys so I was quite shocked I thought it's gonna be really really pink like this but when it goes to the skin it's like you, can't, you barely can see anything except just the glitter in it so I'm just giving you a swatch again. That's it's just that pink color. Just a bit. See, it's like you know, guys. Just be careful with the packaging because it's not as pigmented as it looks like. Yeah. Um. If I were to buy, I don't think I will. Uh, but yeah, it's good to know that the really proud blush is not as pigmented as I thought. Anyway, I enjoyed it. Thank you, Chi Grace. Um, this gave me a new insight on the product, and I actually use that for more of a shimmery uh, highlight look on my brights. And the last, last one is my lip product. So I bought a lot of MAC matte lipstick, and I thought, um, why don't I just buy one in a palette? So I got this Pro Lip Palette in 6 lipstick shades and the lipstick shades are all the uh, essential ones They got the... Let me just pick it up So they got this um, Red Rose, uh, Rose Pink, the Red Orange um, The Red, that's a bit of a brown and that's a bit of a um, brick brown color so these two color at uh, three color one two and three have a little bit of a shimmer basically and this tree is a matte color um, I haven't really used it a lot but when I tried it in my lips um, it's not as pigmented and matte as the lipstick on its own each one because um, I'm not sure this one is satin this is the one that I use it's uh, rebel um, so this is the color that's that one um, for this one it's not as pigmented I guess it's more for a touch-up thingy or um, if you can just layer it twice it'll be good to go I forgot <laughs> I bought a lot of things this month so this is my makeup brush set. I actually got this endorsed by them. So go to mymakeupbrushset.com to see all their brushes. They're really, really cheap, but they're really, really good. So I got this 10 um, toothbrush looking uh, makeup brush. This is actually a dupe for Artish brush, if you can tell already. Um, they're really, really soft and dense. And when the foundation goes to your skin with this, it's actually uh, more of a sheer coverage. So if you go with a high coverage foundation with this, then it goes on a medium coverage. And if you go for medium, it goes on a low coverage, basically. Um, do give it a try. Take a look on their um, website and you can get 10% off using my code. That's Cheryl Pat 10 and just use that to buy any of the brush, not not only the um, oval brush. And to give it a try, they do ship worldwide as well. And the last, last thing I promise, um, promise, promise. 
This is my Zoeva brush. So I actually bought this one. It's really uh, new. I haven't used it yet. But the reason why I bought this is because of their pink rose gold color. And it's also because they're quite dense. So if you feel it, it's really, really dense, but it's really soft as well. So when you put a um, makeup product to the brush, it goes to the skin really nicely, you know, dense and um, just certain. Because sometimes if you use like a uh, airy soft uh, brush, the product won't really go to the skin that well. Um, and especially with color for products like eyeshadow and powders, um, they don't really go into the skin as good as if you use uh, more of a dense uh, brittle, bristle. So that's my uh, haul for this month. It's quite a lot, I know, but I hope you do um, like this video and subscribe. And I got more products to come for next month. I've already, you know, uh, just waiting for them to ship from the US. So do stay tuned and um, subscribe.